<laughs> Boom shakalaka. Uh. <laughs> hey, Imagine Dragons, who doesn't love them or know them? Well, they've had a meteoric rise to fame. Well, the group actually performed right here at studio back in 2012. I remember that was a great interview. And they quickly became one of the most popular rock bands in the United States. Yeah, they won a Grammy for Best Rock Performance in January of 2014. What you may not know is the group's frontman, Dan Reynolds, is living with a painful chronic autoimmune disease known as AS. I had a chance to talk to Dan along with Dr. Hillary Norton, a rheumatologist who also has AS, about a new campaign they're working on for the disease. All right, so I want to start with you, um, Dr. Hillary. F explain to people what is AS, also known as ankle sing spondylitis. <laughs> right. It's a mouthful, isn't it? So ankylosing spondylitis is a chronic inflammatory disease that generally starts when, when we're young, generally in our 20s, with low back pain and stiffness. Um, the pain is often worse in the second half of the night and early in the morning. So it's tough because when you're young and you develop uh, a disease with symptoms like back pain, often you don't think of chronic disease. Yeah. This is part of the problem. So there's, you know, a long delay in diagnosis generally, and Dan and I both experience that, that delay. So we're trying really along with, um, with Novartis and the Spondylitis Association to raise awareness so that people might recognize those symptoms. And Dan, for you, obviously both of you are young, but Dan is the leader and part of this, this, uh, this rock group that is, is so successful these days. When did AS manifest for you and how are you living with that? Uh, it started um, when I was about 20, Four, 23 is when I really started to experience serious pain in my lower back, um, which is right when the band started to take off. So it was a pretty scary time because we had just gotten signed, we were just playing these really important shows, and I was in a lot of pain um, and seeing a lot of doctors and getting a lot of misdiagnoses. Um, so it was pretty scary, um, and it took um, a year or two to finally meet with a proper rheumatologist who said, this is what it is, and put together kind of a plan to get to a healthier place. And so that's why I'm really so passionate about this, because my life literally, this band would have never happened if it wasn't for um, a rheumatologist who really saved my, my life. I, yeah. I was starting to, I, I remember playing a show where I couldn't move on stage and I was just in so much pain and I just thought I'm gonna have to quit and that was before the band ever took off wow. so that's why I'm so passionate about this because um, it's not just a little bit of pain in your lower back you know this is like a debilitating mm -hmm. um, amount of inflammation that can get so bad that you can have fusion in your spine wow. and so you can lose mobility yeah. uh, and so if, if it weren't for a rheumatologist um, you know I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to be doing what I am today. Yeah. For sure. Well, we're so glad that you, you've got the help that you, you, you'd so desperately need it. We couldn't imagine Imagine Dragons without you. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Can you talk us through a little bit of what your routine is like so that you are managing this and how others can do the same? Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that kind of go into it. Um, just from a kind of more holistic kind of point of view, I, I live very, my diet's very clean. Um, I have exercise that, that I do every single day, whether it's yoga, whether it's strengthening my tendons and kind of Olympic lifting and things like that. Um, for everybody, it's different though. You know, certain people respond differently. Um, definitely a part of it has been working with my rheumatologist, um, whether it is finding a proper medication for, my, for, for me, um, or whether it is finding what, you know, things trigger, uh, you know, my AS, whether it is food or whether it's, you know, exercise. And so it's such an individual um, disease. Everybody's route is a little different. So that's why it's so important to go see a rheumatologist. And, and really my goal has been to work with Novartis and Spondylitis Association of America to raise awareness because it's an invisible disease. So a lot of people don't know a lot about it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why we've put together this AS Life Live um, which is kind of a series that just raises awareness and I've sat down with people from all over uh, who have AS and talked about how to combat it and kind of having a community. Um, that's been so important for me. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been a, a journey for yeah. sure. Yeah, and, and Dr. Norton, um, 
you too are a testament that you don't have to live a life in pain. Um, and there, there is help, there is support out there for people. So if they want to learn more information, if they think that maybe they have AS or someone they know has it, where can they go for more information? Yeah, absolutely. So that's why Dan and I have partnered in this project. We're both very passionate as patients to try to help decrease this delay in diagnosis so that people aren't suffering and also to give patients a community to come together and, and learn more about this um, after diagnosis. So the best places to go for that are the website thisaslife.com as well as stopas.org. Okay. Uh, Dan, do you remember being in Rochester <laughs> a few years ago? I do. You do? I yeah, wasn't I do here being on in set. Yes, I do. I wasn't here when that happened. You weren't here. Oh. I was not here. My colleague, actually, I, I'm filling in for her, but I know it was that a party. she's. Yeah, I bet it was. But I know we are big fans of you guys, and we are just so happy that uh, you were doing well. Uh, we wish you and the guys uh, much success and come back to Rochester anytime. We'd love to have you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, and thanks for being there so early in our career. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys. Best of luck to you guys on this uh, tour as you raise awareness on this campaign. Take care. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Of you. He remembers me, me, me being up see, another arm I, all cozy. See, and I, was just, <laughs> I was just sitting in for you because you were supposed to have that I interview. I was supposed to do that interview, so. yes. No, I, I, he is a very kind, they were all great guys. They were all wonderful. Coming back. You're on top of the world? The <laughs> I'm on top was, of the world. He was totally blushing, though. He, he was. was totally blushing. He's very nice. He is very a nice, kind. very he nice, drink. very nice Together. man. Yeah. I would love to take him to the Genesee Brewery. Well, we're going to talk about you it, Dax. town, Dan. Celebrations this week to celebrate 140 years in business. We'll talk about the fun next.